Hi, Sonny here. Uh, I'm going to start doing some music theory videos for guitar players. Uh, and I would do it for uh, basically assuming beginners who have no uh, theory backgrounds at all. And I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to think of a ways to do it simple, uh, easy to understand, and try to be more visual. Hopefully, uh, I can accomplish that and uh, do some videos that everyone can understand. And I'll keep the video short. Uh, this is the first uh, lesson that I'm doing for music theory and we are going to talk about notes and to cover the relationship of the notes uh, in the major scale so uh, so I'm gonna put the guitar down and I'm gonna show you something else first All right. what you see here is a guitar uh, the reason why I'm using this because uh, I think it's visually if you want to uh, uh, to, to try to see what the what the fretboard looks like on a, as, as a keyboard it would make it would make whole, uh, make sense and make things a lot easier so in all keyboards it always have two black keys followed by three black keys and then two black keys and three black uh, two black keys and three black keys uh, you may re you may ask why it's, uh, this is how the major major scale is laid out. If you just play all the white keys on the keyboard, you have a C major scale. C is the basic uh, scale of all Western scales because it has no sharps, no flats. It's just all notes. Uh, so this is um, all the white key. All white keys are uh, C scale. So the first note, the C note, is always the one. Uh, where well you see there's two sharp two black keys uh, the first the note right before the first black key of this group right here is the C note so there there are seven notes in the C major scale C D E F G A B all right and it starts all over as soon as you reach uh, once, once you get to B it's off from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and so forth and so, so forth. It's always C, D, E, F, G, A, B. If you notice, uh, between, between C and D, that's a sharp. So that would be a C sharp or D flat. Second sharp, second black key between, uh, between D and E. That would be considered D sharp or E flat because it's between D and E. Now you will notice this is very important. The third and fourth note, E and the F is in Frank. There is no sharp in between, and the uh, uh, notes are next next to each other. It's very important we notice that E and E E to F has no sharp. And also, it's very important to remember between the third note and the fourth note of the major scale has no sharp. Okay. Again, between third and fourth notes of the major scale has no sharp, uh, and everything else after that you have some sharps until the end. So, F and G that's a black key. So that's so it's an F sharp or G flat. G and A that's a black key again. So it'll be G sharp or A flat. A and B, that's another flat. That's a um, that's another black key. So that's A sharp or B flat. Okay, here's another uh, two white keys with no black keys. Uh, that would be the B and back to C, which is the root notes. There is no sharp in between. So what do we know from here? Is that the seventh note which is the last note of the major scale before you go back to the root note the first note of the major scale has no sharp no black key now if you translate this into a guitar uh, fretboard uh, basically from C to D you skip a fret D to E again you skip a fret E to F you don't skip at all so basically is uh we call it half step if it's the fret next to it so half fret up is the is the fourth note from the third note uh, 
between four and fifth note. That's a that's a sharp or flat. So that would be a whole step, which is skipping the fret. So let's pick up the guitar and take a look at it. All right, so let's look at the guitar here. Um, I assume that you know what an open string. Open strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. All right, so the first string is E. You don't have to memorize all the notes in the uh, on the fretboard. Uh, over time, you should. Uh, but if you know the open notes, you can almost fig you can almost figure it out. You should always figure out the rest of the notes based on what you know so far. So remember, uh, can, assuming that all the we are going to try to identify all the notes on the fretboard, uh, all the natural notes, not the sharps, not the flats. All right. So if we remember, we looked at the C major scale, which is the uh, the basic of all scale with no sharps and flats. Uh, so if we do it in C major scale, the first note, the open low E string. If you remember between E and F, that's no sharp. Uh, that's because that's because third and fourth note are uh, right next to each other. So after open E string, and the immediately follow the first fret is an F note because there's no sharp. Okay. Okay. Next, what is the next note? It's G. And looking at the keyboard, you know between um, the fourth and the fifth note has a sharp so that would be F G you skip the fret so that's a whole step up and the fret in between the second fret that would be F sharp or G flat so you go from G to A right uh, against a whole step the middle part is G sharp or A flat A to B same thing whole step uh, now here's another exception B to C remember the f uh, the last note of the scale uh, between the last note of the scale going back to the root note has no sharps and no flat so so from the B to C from the seventh seventh note to root note there is no flat so it's right next to each other so that's half step B and C uh, C to D, that's a sharp, so it's a whole step up. C, uh, so C and D, so the middle note right here is either, you can call it C sharp or D flat, same thing. D to E, uh, same thing. D, the middle part is, is a D sharp or E flat. Now what, what I want to uh, point out is that the 12th fret is always the first note of the open string, so it's the same thing. So open E, the 12th fret is also an E, just an octave higher. Octave means it's the same note, but it's higher in the next uh, next level, I guess you can say that. So you can hear it. Open E, 12th fret is an E. Alright. And you just go, uh, you just keep going that way. Same thing, second string, A. We start from the note A. We know A to B has a sharp, so we go from A, we skip the first fret. The uh, second fret would be B, right? Uh, uh, B to C. B is the last note of C major scale. We're going to C, right? So that's no sharp or flat. So it's right next to each other. It's half step up. So the third fret is a C. So C whole step, D, D whole step, E, a seventh fret. E, remember, E to F has no flats or no sharps so it's right next to each other so basically after you play the 7th fret at E the 8th fret right after is an F F G whole step G A is a whole step uh, same thing the next string up you can do the same thing as D uh, open string is D so D to E what is that a whole step or half step that's a whole step so we skip the first fret so open D Second fret of the D string would be an E E note, and uh, remember between E and F, there's no flat and sharp. So after the first second, after the second fret, the third fret is F note. 
and then F, whole step to G, skip a fret, G, skip a fret to A, 7th fret is an A, from the A 7th fret, skip a fret to 9th fret, that's a B, and from B, which is 9th fret, to 10th fret, uh, that's a C, so that's no sharps of no flat right next to each other, C to D. Uh, so you can do the same thing for the rest of the strings, um, then you will figure out those notes. I recommend uh, you try to memorize the notes as much as you can. I sometimes, I sometimes still forget my notes and I have to look at it. But if you know the pattern, you know three between uh, E and F, no for, uh, no sharps, no flats, which is the third note and the fourth note, and also again the set, the seventh note and the root note. Has no sharp and no flat. Um, that's the relationship of the notes of the major scale, and uh, you can apply that to all the major scale. Uh, so, for example, you start with G. Uh, to a G major scale, you know the G to the first note has no as a as a sharp or flat. So G, skip a fret A, A to B. Now remember the third note to the fourth note has no sharps and flats, so you gotta go from ninth fret, I'm sorry, seventh fret to eighth fret. So B to C. Alright, so that's the fourth note. C to D, fourth to fifth, whole step, fifth to sixth note, E, whole step. Uh, uh, so that's whole step, right? So six to seven. Again, it's a whole step. You skip a skip a fret, and you notice that this is the F sharp because this note, the twelfth fret, is a e, e note, which is the sixth note of the G major. Uh, between six and seven, there is a sharp, so we skip a fret. So the next note right here, which is the fourteenth fret, and that's an F sharp. Now remember uh, the seventh note. To the root note, uh, there's no sharp, no flat. So from the 14th fret, we'll go to G, which is the 15th fret again. Uh, that would be a G note, and that would be the whole entire G scale. So from base, based on what we know, we know G major only has one sharp, which is F sharp in the entire G major. You can do the same, exact same thing for all the major scale. No matter what note you start with, remember you always skip a fret except between three, the third and fourth note, and again between the seventh and the first note. No sharps, no, uh, no flat. So that's the uh, uh, lesson for today. Thank you for watching.